Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for August 20th. Today I'm going to read to you from the fourth chapter of Philippians, verses uh, 6 and 7 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is the word of God. Luther writes, This is the true peace that satisfies and quiets the heart, not in times when no adversity is at hand, but in the midst of it, when outwardly there is nothing but strife. This is the difference between worldly and spiritual peace. Worldly peace consists in removing the outward evil that disturbs the peace. When enemies besiege a city, there is no peace. But when they depart, peace returns. Such is the case in poverty and sickness. While they afflict you, you are discontented, but when they are removed and there is health and plenty, there is peace and rest again. He who experiences this peace is not changed, being just as faint-hearted whether the evil be present or not. Only he feels it and is frightened when it is present. Christian or spiritual peace, however, just turns the thing about so that outwardly the evil remains, as enemies, sickness, poverty, sin, death, and the devil. These are there and never desist, encompassing us on every side. Nevertheless, within, there is peace, strength, and comfort in the heart, so that the heart cares for no evil, is really bolder and more joyful in its presence than in its absence. Therefore, it is peace which passeth and transcendeth all understanding and all the senses, Reason cannot grasp any peace except worldly or external peace. It knows not how to comfort or satisfy a person in times of affliction. But when the Spirit comes, he lets the outward adversity remain, but strengthens the person, making the timid fearless, changing the troubled into a quiet, peaceful conscience. Whence does he receive this? From his faith in Christ. For if I truly believe in the Lord from the depth of my heart, so that it can truly say, my Lord Christ has by his resurrection conquered my need, my sin, death, and all evil, and will be with me and in me. It is impossible for me to be faint-hearted and timid, no matter how much sin and death oppress me. If you look to Christ and believe on him, no evil that may befall you is so great that it can harm you and cause you to despair. Therefore, it is impossible for the fruit of peace to be absent where faith is. May God give you such faith in Christ that you have peace within no matter what's happening outside you. So this traffic that's running by that interferes with the peaceful, quiet background that you've heard inside the church for the last few days, air conditioner notwithstanding sometimes. This is no interruption to the word. This is no, no thing to be bothered by. Uh, the next time somebody uh, gets angry with you, the next time the governor makes a pronouncement that you disagree with, uh, the next time the bank account doesn't look like what you think it ought to look like, or what you at least want it to look like, may you know the peace of Christ instead of mere external peace. The things that upset us, like that big pickup that just went by too fast, the things that upset us are never going to uh, disappear. They're never going to be gone. And likewise, the peace of Christ never goes away either. Have faith. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for the peace that we have because you have given us your spirit to dwell within us and give us that peace. Help us to rely upon him and upon the peace that only you can give. Amen. Thanks for being with me today, for reading the word with Luther. Please be back with me again tomorrow.